Hello everyone and welcome back to Slow Easy English. I'm Syl. Today I'm going to teach you how to uh, convert from the metric system to the imperial system and from the imperial system to the metric system. So what is the metric system? Well, or the imperial system. The metric system or the imperial system, it's a way of measuring things, okay? So length or weight or volume, okay? So for example, in the metric system, we use centimeters, millimeters, meters, kilometers, okay? So everything is based on the meter, right? So the meter. A centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. A millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter. And a kilometer is a thousand meters. But if you go to the United States, they don't use meters. They use the imperial system, which means they use inches, feet, yards, and miles for length. So today's video is focused on length or distance, okay? So let's have a look. If you go to the United States and you ask someone, excuse me, how far is New York? And they say, oh, it's about a hundred miles. You say, okay, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, well, one mile is 1.6 kilometers. So, 100 miles, 160 kilometers. Easy, right? If they say 200 miles, well, this, this times 200. So, what's that? That's 320 kilometers, okay? Now, 1.6, this is a little tricky to calculate quickly if the numbers like 100 is easy, but how about 350? How's that? Is that easy? Uh, no, that's a little tricky for me anyway. So um, if somebody says 350 miles, hmm, then I think, okay, you know what? 0.6, that's, oh, it's, it's a little too accurate, you know? Um, maybe 1.5, how's that? So 350, what's half? of 350, 175. So take 350 plus 175, so 350, 450, 520, ah, 525 kilometers. Actually, a little bit more because I did 1.5 and it's actually 1.6, okay? But it's close enough, all right? Just to get a general idea or a rough estimate of the distance just 1.5 back. And you can also do the opposite. One kilometer equals 0.6 miles. Again, if the number is 100, it's easy. 100 kilometers, 60 miles. Okay. You know what? The exact answer is 62.1 miles. You know, it's 0 0.621, but that's okay. This is okay for this. We only need one decimal space of accuracy. We don't need a super accurate calculation. So um, anyway, again, if the number is 100, it's easy. But if the number is, I don't know, whatever, 876, uh, what is that? Oh, 876, well, it's almost 900. You know what? times 0.5 may be very easy. So 876 is close to 900. Divide by half, right? Or, you know, well, multiply by half. Divide, <laughs> divide by two. <laughs> um, so take off half, uh, uh, we have 900, 450. So it's a little bit more than 450. Maybe a, close to 500, actually, okay? so. In this case, 900 kilometers would be uh, 
a little more than 450, close to 500 miles. Okay? So if somebody comes to Europe and says, how far is Rome? You say, well, 700 kilometers. They go, well, uh, how far is a kilometer? We don't use kilometers in the United States. Then you say, uh, well, 700 kilometers is, mm, let me see, 700 kilometers, 350, it's about 350. It's a little more than 350 miles. Maybe a little less than 400 miles. Okay? Okay, so next. Um, one meter. You know one meter? I don't know. What's a meter? A meter is about, about this long, maybe? So one meter, in the United States, they don't use meters, they use yards. So 1.1 yard, okay? Um, and 1.1 yard, or one meter, also equals three feet, three inches. Okay, so a foot, I don't have, just a sec. All right, I'm back. Um, you see this ruler here? It's uh, 30 centimeters, okay? Um, but 30 centimeters is one foot. So you hear, I wrote it here, one foot is 30 centimeters. So, um, <clears throat> so this to, uh, to this line here, okay? This is about a foot. Um, and uh, one meter is three of these plus three inches. What is an inch? One inch is 2.5 centimeters. So here we have, uh, right here, here, two point, can you see that? So 2.5, okay, that's an inch. Hello, can you see that? Okay, there we go. All right, so that is an inch. Um, and uh, so just remember, that one meter is three feet three inches, which means it is 39 inches. Okay? Now, again, now here, remember, we're not making scientific calculations. So, 1.1, you know, it's 10% difference. Is it important? Not usually. It depends. So, if somebody says, oh, it was about 500 yards away, well, that's 500 meters, 500 yards. A meter is a little longer, okay? So 500 yards, what is that? 450 meters, about. But if you say 500 meters, close enough, right? So, um, so one meter equals 1.1 yard and three feet, three inches. One yard equals 0.9 meters and three feet. So three of these is a yard. Three of these plus this is a meter, okay? One foot, I said this is about a foot. There we go, there's the camera. Okay, so this is about a foot. Actually, I'm sorry, this is not about, this is exactly a foot, right to the right to here, the, the 30 centimeter mark. So this is a foot. Uh, one foot equals 30 centimeters and 12 inches. Okay, so one foot, 30 centimeters, 12 inches. So if you have 12 inches in 30 centimeters, it means one inch is 2.5 centimeters, right? 12 times 2.5 is 30. So, one inch, 2.5 centimeters, and the converse is one centimeter equals 0.4 inches, okay? So, there you go. Now you know how to convert from metric to imperial and from imperial to metric. Well, not everything, but today we learned in <laughs> inches, feet, meters, my, uh, excuse me, why am I mixing them? I'm sorry. Inches, feet, yards, and miles. That's the imperial. And the metric, we have cent, 
Yeah. Centimeters, uh, centimeters, uh, meters, and kilometers. Okay. Now, I didn't write it here because it's not necessary, but you also, of course, don't forget about the millimeter, which is uh, one tenth of a centimeter, right? So if you know centimeter, then you know millimeter, so don't worry about it. Um, so anyway, that's it. This is how you convert. Again, uh, for me, myself, when I am converting quickly in my head, just for a rough estimate, okay, this is not accurate, but it's close, I do 1.5 or 0 0.5. I don't need 0 0.6 and 1.6. Um, one meter to one yard, yeah, just one to one. That's close enough, okay, usually. Uh, again, one yard to one meter, same thing. Um, one meter and one yard, very easy, uh, very close. And how many feet in a yard? Three. So if somebody says three feet, and I am thinking in metric, I think, okay, one meter. That's about the same. Uh, one foot, okay, is 12 inches, and it's 30 centimeters. Now, one additional note about this is that in the United States, they use imperial almost everywhere, okay? Most other, actually most every other country, I think except for two, I don't know. And those, I don't remember those countries. Um, but almost every other country in the world uses metric. Except uh, some countries where they converted from metric, sorry, from imperial to metric. In these countries, the imperial system is still often used among the people. So, for example, Canada, um, you know, they changed from imperial to metric when I was young, okay? Um, and now, today, cars have kilometers, but they also have miles, okay? Um, so it's interesting, if you go to Canada, you'll get both sometimes. On the highway, it only says kilometers, okay? But on the speedometer in the car, it says miles and kilometers. Another thing is if you ask someone, if you say, how tall are you, okay? Now, in Japan, somebody says, how tall are you, they answer, I'm 172 centimeters, okay, it's always in centimeters, um, or maybe 1.72 meters, right, so 172 centimeters, 1.72 meters, same thing. But in Canada, even though we use the metric system officially, right, so on, on bags you'll see grams, on the highway you see kilometers and meters. For all of that, officially they use uh, the metric system. But if you ask someone, how tall are you? Instead of saying 172 centimeters, they will usually answer five foot eight. So um, they still use imperial in Canada for height, okay? Some people still use miles when talking, like my dad. He still uses miles when he talks about distances. How far is it? Oh, it's about 50 miles, you know? Okay, then I have to go, oh, 50 miles, that's a, oh, <laughs> right, that's like 90 kilometers, right? Or 80, I'm sorry, 80 kilometers. So I, I have to convert sometimes because I'm so used to uh, the metric system now that I live in Japan. But uh, when I lived in Canada, you know, height and uh, distance, a lot of people use. Today, I think more people use kilometers. You know, all the young people use kilometers, but they still use feet and inches for height. Uh, a few weeks ago, I asked, just as a test, 
I asked my niece, I said, how tall are you? And she answered, five foot eight. So, um, yes, she's my height and soon will be taller than me, I know. Uh, I'm a short guy. But uh, anyway, um, yes, so you'll see that in some countries, uh, in Canada, anyway, and maybe in Britain, but I'm not sure because I am not British and I have never been there. Uh, but I heard that they also sometimes use uh, the, the imperial system when talking. I don't know when and how, uh, in what situations, but that's what I heard. Uh, anyway, I do know that in Canada, they mix the two sometimes. In America, they use the imperial system. In most other countries, they use just the metric system. So if you don't live in America, and you watch Hollywood movies, or if you travel to the United States, you need to remember this, you need to know this. If you are living in the United States and want to travel to Europe, same thing. You will need to know this to understand the signs and the, the maps and everything. So, uh, so do memorize these. They're not difficult, they're easy but there are many to remember and it can be a little bit confusing because there's so many. So, um, so use it, practice it, uh, watch movies and, uh, and learn it. So that is today's lesson. Uh, time to go because I think I'm at 16 minutes, 17 minutes. So <laughs> I hope that gave you a lot of listening practice. And uh, if you like this video, uh, please click the like button click the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And uh, one other thing is don't forget that to learn to speak English, you need to listen to a lot. A lot. Not a little. A lot. So please feel free to go to the listening lounge. I have a section called listening lounge where you can go and listen to different topics I hope are interesting and you can listen to a lot of English where the topic is interesting and maybe uh, either interesting or important for you but um, but it's not studying uh, because you know, studying is good but you need to use your English by actually listening to things that are interesting to listen to for you. So uh, check out the listening lounge and I hope you uh, find those videos interesting and uh, please feel free to listen to them because they are important uh, or it's important to listen to a lot of English. That will help you speak better and it will also help you of course understand more. So. Anyway, that's it for today. Now I'm on 18 minutes or something, so it's really time to go. Um, that's all. Thank you very much. I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Three times. Okay, one more time. Thank you. Bye.